Right. Good then. You're all here. Colonel Mustard. Present. Miss Scarlet. Mm. Mrs. White. Yes. Professor Plum. Hello. Reverend Green. That's me. Mrs. Peacock. How do? Greetings. I am Wadsworth, the butler. Tonight, as you may have surmised, nobody is being addressed by their real name. Cluedo is a stage version of the board game and uh, the American movie Clue. And uh, so it's a whodunit and it has uh, Colonel Mustard, uh, Professor Plum, Mrs White, Mrs Peacock, Miss Scarlet and Reverend Green. And they're all called to Body Manor uh, because they've received a letter, a mysterious letter. And they're told to use these pseudonyms in order to, uh, to be told who is um, blackmailing them. Well I've been working on it for probably just under a year. I mean, uh, the f I first read the script, I think, last February. Um, and you know, the script's already in place. I did, we didn't have to start from scratch because it's based on Sandy Rustin's adaptation of the film Clue. So the American script had, uh, existed. What I had to do was make it British again. I play Miss Scarlet. Her dress, kind of iconic Miss Scarlet, um, who is kind of strong and sassy and is is a bit more grounded than I would say the rest of them. I play Professor Plum and he's a rather odious character. He is pompous and arrogant and pretentious and he is uh, a psychiatrist who is um, has been disgraced and has had to leave the profession but he works for um, the United Nations but he has a, a dark secret which is about to be revealed in the play. There! Locked! What? What are you going to do with the keys to the safe, Wadsworth? Ah, yes, the key. I'll put it in my pocket. But what if you're the murderer? I'm not. But what if you are? I've an idea, we'll throw it outside. A wee, a la exterior. But it's raining a la exterior. I'm not suggesting we go outside. I'm suggesting we stay inside but throw away the key. But you'd have to open the door, wouldn't you? I would. But what if the killer's outside? Better out than in. Yes, but we want to keep him outside, wouldn't we? If we open the door, we risk letting him back in. Maybe if we open the door, we'll encourage the killer to go out. I think the killer's doing a very good job of opening and closing doors all by himself. I don't see how us opening the door for one tiny second could make any sort of difference. But what if we open the door, throw away the key, and the killer catches it? Then the killer would have the key we're trying to confiscate! I think we might be overthinking this. I'm going to throw away the key. Follow me. Our audiences can expect an absolute riot at a night out in Cluedo. They uh, will laugh and laugh and laugh. Uh, make sure you go to the toilet in the interval. Um, and uh, they can expect aching ribs. And um, you can bring the whole family from, uh, from your kiddies right through to grandma. And everyone will have an absolute ball. I think people go, they don't know what to expect. But I think they will be really more than pleasantly surprised at how much they enjoy. And I think it's also... It, it, in this current climate, it's what people need, I think. It also is very poignant as to what is going on in the political situation at the moment. Um, I mean, it's kind of pure accident, but I think the irony, irony of it as well will make people laugh even more, I think. A candlestick? What's this for? A spanner. A lead pipe. A dagger? A revolver? Ah, it's a snake! Oh no, it's a rope. In your hands you each have a lethal weapon. You all came here tonight because you believed the evidence against you was so terrible that you would do anything to keep it a secret. I'm putting that theory to the test. You are. The only way for you to end your blackmail and avoid finding yourselves on the front pages is for one of you to kill Wadsworth. Now. 